Alright, that. And a pile of books and a chest. Lesser spirit bomb. Meh. Expendable. What? Oh, a I'd ferret? What the heck? Did that ferret just explode? I didn't explode it though. Yeesh. That didn't look like a ferret. It looked like a giant rat. That was random. Huh. Yeesh. I think we're gonna have to uh, inform the innkeeper that he's got an infestation here. Black vellum, poison recipe, grenade recipe. Okay. Alright. Onward. I think we've explored everywhere here. Alright. Blight. Orf Blight Orphans Notice Board. <laughs> Interesting. They they were able to spell blight correctly, but not orphans, notice, or board. The blight orphans. Scrawled on a stained, smudged piece of paper. We are the... <clears throat> we are the blight orphans of Amaranthine. Poor children whose, m whose mothers and fathers have been killed by the darkspawn. Aww. We are very cold in winter and need 50 silver for clothes and food. Please help. Please put the money in the mug by the board. Thank you, good sirs. Of course I'll help the orphans. Come on. Please donate dinner generously. Right. Can't I put it? This should be easy enough. Yeah, I'll accept it. Yes. Let's get started. Good. There you go. Anything for the orphans. Anything for the orphans of Ferelden. Oh, wait. No more quests. Okay. Alright. Um. Talk to you guys. Nothing. Oh, there's something back here. Nate is on a roll. I'll get on it. Good stuff. Noble. Why can't the dark spoon just die? Oh, you again. Stupid smugglers. Don't stun me. Alright, you know what? Anders, get in there. You're gonna have to position this very carefully now. There we go. Whoops, I hit Ogren. Sorry. Um. Yeah, paralyze him, please. As you wish. Yeah! Ah, down you go. Ogles down. leveled. It looks like. We have done well. Woo! Good teamwork, guys. That'll do. All right, Ogles. Let's see what you got. Mm. So he's got two more. Alright, we've already maxed out two-handed, and we need more... <laughs> let's, let's do some of the new warrior stuff, shall we? Um, yeah. And... Let's... Wait, this is Angelus, I want Ogles. All right, he 50 support strength. Yeah, he already has all the prerequisites, so I can pretty much assign abilities however I want. Um, he needs more hit points. Ogles goes down way too fast. Poison. Oh, is it done? All five puddles of smuggled anti-even poison are in possession, ensuring Amaranthine is safe from the menace. Deliver them to Kendrick for your ward. Hooray! Alright. Um, let's give that to Kendrick. Here you go. So good to see you again. 
It seems I owe you a reward, yes? Yes, of course. Nice doing business with you. Kendrick paid you generously for locating the bottle of smuggled Antivan poison. So we still have several more things to do. I thought I saw a Chanter's board, so I wanted to get to that too. Um, there's a bunch more things up here that I need to explore. Were you there when my father was killed? Yeah, don't go digging in the dust for things laid to rest. It does no one any good. Whatever people say about him, he was still my father. And I just want to know if... if he suffered. Uh, I'm not the person to ask. Very well, Ogren. Evade the question. I don't remember if Ogren was with us when we went into... when we killed... How was he? I feel it was Rory and Alistair and... Sten? I don't remember if it's Ogren. I wonder if Ogren says something different if it was... if he was there, because I don't think he was. <gasps> Win! Oh my gosh, Win! I was just talking about you, Win! I've missed you. Oh, it is so good to see you, my friend. I contemplated visiting you at Vigil's Keep, but things got busy. Too busy to pay me a visit, Win. I'm afraid so. The circle had to be rebuilt for one. And I believe you too have had your hands full, yes? I'd offer to help, but I'm afraid my presence is required elsewhere. Are you is it because you're helping Shale get her body get her body restored? I'm I'm wondering if that's supposed to happen sometime in the near future. Um perhaps when you're done with your business? And by then you will no doubt have had this mess sorted out. <laughs> But we shall see. The College of the Magi is convening in Cumberland, and I must attend. Hopefully, all this will blow over before it's begun. But you have enough on your mind as it is. I shan't trouble you with this further. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Indulge me. Come on, Wynne. These events affect more than just mages. Very well. Then perhaps you should know that something stirs within the fraternities. The Libertarians wish to pull away entirely from the Chantry. And if they get enough support... Pull away entirely? That's madness. I hate Chantry oversight as much as the next mage. But they can't just decide to leave. This is a recipe for disaster. Hmm. This, that is troubling. Well, it could turn out to be nothing. But keep your ear to the ground anyway. Now, I have a great many preparations to make before I leave for Navarra. But perhaps there is something you can do for me. One of my colleagues, hmm. Inus, has spent the last few months in the Wending Wood. The Circle has been unable to reach her, given the trouble in the area. If you happen to find yourself in the wood, on your travels, perhaps you could tell her about the meeting of the College. Of course, Wynne. Anything for you. Anything for you. What's she doing in the Wending Wood? Oh... Who knows, rooting around in the dirt for some obscure plant or other, most likely. Hmm. She has a keen interest in gardening. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant botany. Right. Hobbies and eccentricities aside, Inus is a well-respected mage and a voice of reason. Something we could use on our side. The hour is late and I must go. It was wonderful to see you again. Take care, my friend. You two win. Take care. Oh, it was so good to see her. Statue. It figures, actually. Um. What does? There used to be another statue here. It was a Byron Howe, my great uncle. Mm. He died in the rebellion, helping King Merrick reclaim his throne. Yet his statue is gone. All because of what my father did. I, I I mean, Angelus might be thinking this, but he wouldn't say it. He's actually starting, little by little, warming up to Nathaniel. Maybe I'll get them to replace it. Because, 
I guess Angelus is feeling a little sympathetic because, you know, it's one man. The entire family, the entire household shouldn't necessarily suffer because of the actions of one individual. You know, one man. Um, I'll get them to replace it. Don't bother. Nobody here will want to see it. There's a long line of heroes in my family. The Howes have been around since Callan had. Now it's all gone. And for what? For being on the wrong side of the war? For choosing poorly? Hey, NATO, it's, it, it's up to you to turn that around. Not too much pressure, right? I wonder what happened to the old statue. Likely propping up the side of a chantry or something. Poor Al Byron. Yeah, statues of her pigeons. I don't want to look at it. Oh wow, Nathaniel approves plus nine. We are definitely <laughs> Ogles, come on now. You and I, we need to we need to fix this. With trade halted, I can't get my silks from Denerim. It's just awful. No, a potted plant. As you wish. Um Potted plant. A little plant in a lovely clay pot. How quaint. Chanter's board. As there is but one world, one life, one death, there is but one God, and he is our maker. So let it be. If you remember, Angelus is religious. He is a religious character. And I don't see very many LPs with um, people LPing a religious character, so I kind of like that my character is original in that aspect. Wow, Chanter's want a lot of stuff too from the living wood may the maker smile on amaranthine and her people the templars seek samples of wood from ancient sylvans they are close to discovering what twisted magic drives these creatures and how to defeat them sylvans have been sighted in the wending wood and may be the cause of the trouble along the trade routes chanter jans Praying on the weak. My brothers and sisters in the Maker. Cruel thugs are preying upon the men and women try taking refuge outside the city walls, threatening these poor, desolate souls with violence unless they give over their money. Will no one come to their defense? Brother Mika. Out of control. The Templars of Amaranthine require the assistance of one experienced with dealing with mages. Please speak to Sir Rylian inside the Chantry of Our Lady Redeemer, Chanter Jans. Donation of inju Injury Kits. Please help. The Chantry supplies are running low. The Sister urgently requires a donation of five Injury Kits. May Maker turn his gaze on Amaranthine, Chanter Jans. I can definitely do that. Repent and have faith, and you shall know the peace of the Maker's benediction. Cool. I think I gave her the, the, you know, injury kits. And the Maker wept for his beloved, and turned once again from all creation. So let it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be, yes, let it be. Oh, hello. Wow. This chantry looks almost, it almost looks identical to the one in Lothering. The Darkspawn Lothering. was supposed to go away when the Archdemon died. In Amaranthine, it's worse than before. Lost and found. A knitted scarf. Huh. Knitted scarf. Um. I think this would go well with Anders, too. He seems to be a man of fashion. Um. If I can find it. Where's the knitted scarf? Oh, yeah. You shouldn't have. Nice. Very nice. And Anders and I are doing really well. Sir Rylian. May I help you? I read your posting on the Chandra's board. I am fortunate indeed that the Commander of the Grey has taken a personal interest in this matter. I'm sorry our note was vague, but Amaranthine is a hotbed of Maleficar activity. Details of who and what they were about would undoubtedly get back to them. 
What do you need? I've worked with an artist to create these sketches of the three suspects. If you could confront them and question them, you would be doing the Maker's work. Alright. Anders disapproves. Well, Anders, I'm sorry, but An Angelus is a Chantry boy. He's, you know... Well, okay, he's not necessarily a Chantry boy, because there wasn't a Chantry. There wasn't a Chantry in the alienage, but he's... He's... He believes in the Maker and all that good stuff, so anything he can do to help the Chantry, you know, Angelus would be inclined to do, because that's what he would do in character. I'll take care of it. Private documents, a list of household accounts. Exp okay, okay. Stuff I can sell, I think. Right. Probably should just put Nathaniel up front so he can pick locks in the Chantry. And now this, the sins of you. We must follow the example of Andraste and reflect upon the chant of light. Your friends and neighbors would do well to heed this lesson and join us in prayer. Alma. Oh, Alma. It's not like Karam to be gone this long. I was sure I would find him at the inn. You met a woman distraught over her husband's disappearance. She mentioned that he likes to drink at the inn, although she could not find him there. Oh. Oh, where has my Karam gone? Karam, eh? Well, we're gonna have to investigate this. Get to the bottom of this. Leather helm. Wow, leather helm. We're just borrowing this. We're not stealing from the Chantry. We're borrowing from the Chantry. <laughs> As you wish. Blank journal. Okay. <laughs> Besides, it's not Angelus who's stealing. It's Nathaniel who's stealing. He's... It's, it's, it's all Nathaniel. <laughs> Reverend Mother. Have you delivered your annual tithe to the Chantry, sir? You may be overdue. Yeah, I mean, I would be glad to in return for <clears throat> the stuff that we've been borrowing. Like what's ever. Your in wish this... is my command. Yes, whatever is in this armoire, the blank vellum. Okay, and this bookshelf. As you wish. Pilgrims and Amaranthine. All right. Let's go check out the inn and see what we can find out about this. Uh, girl's husband, boyfriend. I I don't know. I don't remember, but we'll see. Okay. Um. Back to the the crown and lion. Do I need to talk to the innkeeper about this? What can I get for you, friend? Nothing. I'll be going now. Come back soon. Do the orphans need anything I'll take else? Care of it. Oh, yes, they do. The uh, the blight orphans again. The blight orphans are very thankful for the kind donation of 50 silvers, but now we need money for pillows and blankets. Two sovereigns will cover it. Also, we get very cold at night, and our nurse says a sip of brandy. <laughs> a sip of brandy will warm us right up. Can someone get us a bottle of the inn's best brandy? Please put the stuff in the box. I'm wondering, I'm beginning to suspect that this actually was not written by children, much less orphans. But we're gonna play along. Play along. Moon moonshine for the children. This notice is stuck on a board with what appears to be bacon grease. <laughs> oh gosh, this piece of paper feels slightly damp. I need to read these descriptions too. Hello! It is us, the Blight Orphans again. Did you know that Hubert's gang across town got their hands on a bunch of moonshine? Our nurse says that Hubert is a stupid, whoring... <laughs> oh my gosh. And that us orphans would find a letter, a better use for the moonshine. Really now, the nurse thought the orphans would find a better use for their moonshine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can, I can see um, Angelus's expression of his face as he's reading this. She says using strong drink like that on our skinned knees would stop the maggots from growing on them. I'm sure that's what you intend on using them for. Please get us the moonshine. Okay. The Sermons of Justina II. Written on a scrap of paper in large letters. Reverend Mother Liana is such a wise lady and she's always telling us what to do because she's such a preachy b lady. <laughs> 
we would like to get her book so we can learn from it. It's called The Sermons of Justinia, Justinia the Second, or something like that. Please, thanks, by The Blight of Orphans. Alright, fine, I'll play along. Good gosh. Good gosh, how can I say no to these quote-unquote orphans? Hmm. Look into what your whistle, stranger. Not right now. Right then, let me know if you change your mind. Alright, is there anything in the inn that I'm supposed to find? Oh, note fragment. Note fragment, note fragment. Um, no, no, I want to... You found a fragment of a note written by Alma's husband, apparently ripped up and discarded. He mentioned the catwalks high above the city. Till death do us part. I This doesn't bode very well. Alright. Your wish is my command. Alright, so... I think we should... We need to get up, up there somehow for one of these. Oh, there's a cage up there and a chest. So we should we should check that out. Onward, folks. Oh wait, somebody left Is this a dolly? It What is that? A voodoo doll? Somebody made a voodoo doll? Or a gingerbread man without his gumdrop buttons. One of the two. I I can't really tell. But um So let's go back Templars, bloody everywhere. Must stay sharp. That's one of the. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Where's my journal? Out of control. Hunt down the three apo apostates. I thought these were maleficarum. Sir Riley and a Templar is asking to hunt down three apostate mages. Search the city. F well, that's. Wait a minute. I we were told that. These mages were Maleficarum, not apostates. Those, those are two different things. Like, yeah, some apostates can be Maleficarum, but not all of them can. I don't know if I... I mean, with all due respect to the Chantry, I don't think Angelus would just outright attack this person. I mean, that would be like just outright attacking Anders. I mean, because Anders is an apostate too. I think, I think that um, as much as... Angelus wants to help, you know, Sir Riley and the Templar. Um, I think this is where he, you know, draws the line because, you know, if this guy's an apostate, that doesn't necessarily mean that he is doing anything that doesn't make him evil or a maleficarum. And, you know, Angelus could be wrong, but he doesn't feel right, you know, doing this specific quest. So I guess. You know, he's just going to leave it up to the Templars. If the Templars really want to hunt this guy down, then, you know, he's not going to stop them. But he's not going to help them either. I think that's how he's going to handle this. Um, so. Alright, can we... Um, what's going on back over here? Oh, that's what's going on. Thugs, we got to get rid of some thugs. Uh, probably should turn on my Ravenous Incarnation. Alright. Oh wait, there's more over there. Great. Take him out, guys. Nice, I've got some... Uh, enrage. As you wish. Take him out. Is it just me, these guys or do you actually think you have a chance? Just fine by me. Alright. Let's see how many of these we can take care of. Cleansing Aura. Alright, first of all, that guy needs a crushing prison. Second of all, Anders, you need to move up, buddy. You're a battle mage. I need to put you in not range. 